Alrighty guys, good morning and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hello, my name is Mackenzie. Make sure to click that subscribe button and stick around. Today we are kicking off the back to school content with a little back to school shopping. I am about to be a junior at Kent State University studying fashion merchandising and I need to start picking up some stuff for my apartment. We are about a month out from move-in day and so I need to start gathering some things. I will be living in an apartment with three of my best friends pictured here and I cannot wait they actually already live in this apartment I'm just filling the fourth spot so they already have a good chunk of stuff but I will have my own bedroom my own bathroom and I need to pick up some stuff so we're gonna kick it off with a little container store shopping I'm here right now let's head on in Let's shop. So if you guys have been with me, or maybe if you're new to my channel and need a little refresher, I lived in a dorm my freshman year. Last year I was in the sorority house, and this year I will be in an apartment. This is my last year, gonna be on campus in Kent before studying abroad, but I've used the container store all three years throughout college. They are awesome, I use them at home as well, um, and lots of my goodies are from there. So we are going to be doing our back to school shopping with them today. A big thank you to them for sponsoring today's video. They're actually hosting their big back to school sale right now, so if you guys click the link down below or text dorm to 22922, you can get 15% off all of your college essentials July 15th through August 15th. So a month long sale, take advantage. It only lasts one month. And I know that a lot of you guys are kind of, you know, trying to get all that shopping in. So go ahead and take advantage of that. I know I am today. So let's get rolling. So if you've never been to the container store, it's literally gigantic in here. They have so much stuff. I have a lot less space moving into this um, apartment than I had in the sorority house just because I had the whole room to myself. So I'm really looking to maximize that under the bed storage. I'm definitely gonna lift my bed up. And Olivia and Lauren recommended that I get like something under the bed, kind of like this. I've had these in years past and they're nice, but you have to like pull it out and you can't stack anything on top of it. So I think I'm gonna do four of these and then I can fill them and do like joggers or leggings, something that is like really easily rolled up. Cause look how deep these are. All right, they have a huge office section and a bunch of stuff from Rifle Paper Company. But guys, they have a gold acrylic stapler and a gold acrylic tape dispenser. I have wanted these since my freshman year of college and have never been able to find one that's not rose gold. I'm grabbing these. I don't need them, but I really, 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 really want them. All right, so as much as I want to buy stuff for my desk right now, I am holding off. I love this white and gold polka dot. Um, and they've got like a bunch of different like I don't know like cool unique things to put on your desk I really specifically love this to put all my receipts and contracts on in reality I end up using my desk as a vanity a desk you know I put my planner stuff on there but I'm also working 40 hours a week in school while also doing online school all my classes will be online again so I want to keep this space really organized but I think I'm gonna wait and hold off and buy these kind of things when I actually get to school we do have a container store near Kent and then and that way I have a better idea of like what I need, the size of things, measurements, things like that. But I'm specifically vlogging this so that I don't forget. I love this. It's called the Big Zoe Box of Sweeties. All right, I got these large boxes for above my closet. Thank you. And a few other goodies, time to check out. Okay everyone, we are home from the container store and I'm gonna give you guys a quick little haul of everything that I picked up. Like I said, I didn't get everything here. There are some things I wanna hold off on until I get to school, just so that I can get exact measurements and stuff. But I am planning on raising my bed just a little bit at this apartment. Obviously dorm beds, you can like fully loft. You can't do that here just because I will have a big bed, but you can lift it a few inches. So I am planning on doing that. And I got these under the bed drawer storage solutions. They pull out super, super long. Like they're very deep as you can tell. And they're the perfect height to roll my like leggings, joggers, smaller tops, things like that. I don't have a ton of drawer space in this apartment compared to what I was just in. Obviously, since I lived in a two person room with just one person, I had tons of 
closet storage space so these are gonna be great i'm gonna leave them two and then two like this so i got four of them they have a bunch of different like styles i just got the clear ones and they're white up top i'll do my best to leave everything linked down below and then i also got these dream drawer spring loaded drawer dividers i have had a bunch of packs of these over the years i had them in my bedroom at home um i have some now here and then i also brought them to my dorm my sorority house all of the above they only had one pack left. It comes with a set of two, but they're awesome because they kind of expand out to whatever size you need. I didn't need too many more, but I just picked up an extra pack while we were there. And then I grabbed three of these little large boxes. These are going to be perfect to put on top of my closet. My closet is kind of a weird shape that I'm about to move into, whereas last year I just had one long, like, solid rod. So I'm going to use these boxes up top to fit different hats, purses, kind of like random things that you do end up needing in your room. I like these because they break down. They had them in a bunch of different colors, but I got them in this, like, soft linen color. They had gray, they had dark gray, um, and they're 15 by 20 inches, which is perfect. So I grabbed a couple of those like I said and then I also was in the market for some clear acrylic storage containers um, I keep my makeup on my desk and like I said I kind of use my desk at school as a vanity a desk um, where I do my schoolwork, where I do blog work. So I wanted things to look a little more polished. I was kind of sick of the like cheapo containers that I just had. So I grabbed these and they stack. So you can buy them one by one. I believe they're $15.99 a piece. I could be wrong, but like I said, if you do sign up with that code, you guys can get 15% off July 15th through August 15th. So it's a great little deal that they're coming up on, but these kind of just like sits right like that in front of each other so i could leave two and two or i can stack them up um all four i might go back and get some for my room here at home too that way i have one at home and one at school but i love these and they're the perfect length for on top of that okay so that was the end of one bag as you can tell i got two more of those little storage cubes like i said i ended up getting three because that's the length of my closet and then I picked up the acrylic tape dispenser and this one has like the little gold hardware, which I love. And then I went ahead and got the matching stapler. I've been wanting this stapler forever. I'm so glad that they had it. These are from the brand Russell and Hazel. They had a bunch of different like cute stationary brands there. Then I got two packs of these small coat and hat wall hooks. These were gold. They were $4.99 a piece. I want to put all these up and hang all of my belts and crossbodies off of. I have a very chaotic organization system from last year and I really want to switch it up so we're gonna do this and then I also got this 24 pocket over the door shoe bag my closet at home is like two small doors but my closet that I'm about to move into is just one big door um, last year I had like curtains you know there was no door so I got one of these to fit all of my flats like mules things like that it's just clear like I said and then I got the little hooks to go over the door as well these were $4.99 for the hooks okay then I did go ahead and get a shower liner i didn't get a shower curtain from here they only had two options and i want something super beachy bohemian so i am holding off on that um but i did get the liner and then the last few things that i got were actually just for me to use right now in the summer i've got some more trips planned and i needed some new like shampoo and conditioner little squeeze bottles so i picked up those as well but we are all good to go like i said i am going to hold off on a few things until i get there but these under the bed storage containers were a big win for me today. I feel good. And like I said, this is stuff that will all fit in my car that I can kind of move with me to school. So hello, Abby. Um, that is everything. I'll leave it all linked down below and make sure to text dorm to that number so that you guys can get 15% off or click that link down below, save some money. And it's time to bring all this downstairs to its home. So I have this little notebook that has a bunch of different things that I need for my apartment all written out, my bathroom closet, bedroom, desk, and I just went through and checked off everything that I've purchased. So everything in my closet is good to go. There's not really anything else that I need. I'm all set on the shoe rack, the holders, I've got the baskets, I've got the hooks. For my bedroom itself, I still need sheets, a bed skirt, comforter, headboard, like kind of all my linens for my bedroom. I can't buy those kind of things at the container store, but I will show you guys the kind of inspo that I'm going off of. I'm moving from a twin bed to a um, queen. So I am going to obviously need new linens for all that. So I'll show you guys kind of what I am thinking 
once we're done going through this. My desk area, I am almost set. There are a couple of different things like my paper holders and the actual like organization of those drawers. I'm gonna wait and go to the container store at school just because I'm not really sure the depth of all of those things and I'm not sure which drawers I'll put desk stuff in, which drawers I'll keep makeup, things like that. So I kind of want to wait to figure that stuff out. Same goes for my bathroom. Um, I'm not even sure how many drawers are in it. So we're just going to have to wait and see. Each apartment unit is a little different. So that's going to be something I have to wait on. But I do still need to get soap dispenser, cotton round holders, bath mats, um, a curtain and a rug, things like that. Um, they had a couple of options at this container store, but they were sold out of the one that I really liked. So I might place an order online for the rest of that stuff. I also want to browse like TJ Maxx, Home Goods, um, Ikea, places like that for my linens and stuff over the next couple of weeks. I will have several different like apartment shop with me's up. So don't worry guys, there's definitely going to be more apartment content coming your way. This is just one of many kind of prep with me's, but I do want to grab my computer and show you guys what I am kind of envisioning for the next place. I've Kind of had this vibe throughout all of my rooms over the years i'm black and white in this bedroom but at school i was pink and gray but kind of that same like um aesthetic i guess and i want to switch it up i want to do something a little different we're going to go bohemian this year so let me pull up my pinterest and show you guys what i'm really thinking so here is the little inspo photo i'm kind of going off of it for this year as you can tell it's got a really neutral color palette but it's pulling different hues of kind of like a warm orange i really don't want white sheets this year so i think i'm going to get something like this as the sheets and still do a white comforter to keep things kind of bright obviously i want white curtains because i I'm going to be filming in my bedroom a lot it still is my workspace as well but I like this little earthy palette I also saved this because I kind of love the idea of having like a shelf above the bed I do know for a fact that I want to get a headboard I hate the idea of not having one so I've kind of just been scrolling through all the different like suggested and pinning different I kind of like the idea of wood rather than having um, like white IKEA furniture my apartment actually comes furnished and it's all dark chocolate brown wood so so I kind of think that, you know, the black, white, gray, pinkish vibe is kind of out anyways, just because this would match better. And then I, of course, will have a big mirror in my bedroom. So I saved this. I kind of love, like this kind of stuff this like grass but I don't know this is the mirror that I have from last year I actually left it at their apartment with Olivia and Lauren it's gold it's super big so I still want to pull gold accents into it and then I also have these pieces from my last apartment that I might try to find a way to incorporate on the walls but I don't know I'm just kind of playing around I like I like a lot of this aesthetic, but we'll see what I end up getting. Oh my gosh, you guys, I totally forgot to end this vlog off yesterday, but it's actually a good thing because um, it is morning now. My hair is obviously wet. I look disgusting, but I placed an order on Urban Outfitters after like scrolling through Pinterest for a few more hours and kind of getting an idea of what I wanted um, for my bedroom. I decided to just like place a big order. So I want to show you guys what I got bedding wise. And I got a few things for my bathroom. This obviously isn't everything, but I figured while well, a bunch of stuff was was on sale I would grab some so let me show you guys I have it pulled up on my computer okay so I told you guys I wanted like an ivory um kind of like patterned um duvet cover like I said so I got this one I still need to get the insert but I did go ahead and get the sham set as well I really like this it's kind of like my comforter at home my comforter at home is white and it's polka dots whereas this one is more of like a geometric print so a little more bohemian then I got this shower curtain because like I said the prints for my bedroom um, and bathroom look like this so these are the ones for my bathroom like the beach the paradise state of mind and this one so I figured this shower curtain would go really well with that and then I also got this like little woven trash can and then for my bed I also got these throw pillows I really love the bohemian feel the tassels I'm gonna get a couple more pillows and I'm gonna do my sheets like a lighter version of this color so that it's a mix of this rose um, like a lighter orange and then the ivory I think that'll be really cute and then I got this rug I wanted something super simple and that I could reuse in a future apartment or something and then I got these two bath mats to go with again kind of mixing up the shades of orange 
orange. So, I don't know. Very cute stuff. I'm, like, really, really happy with all this. So, I will, of course, keep you guys updated in future vlogs with more back-to-school shopping, things that I pick up when all of these items arrive. I will do, like, a haul with them as well so you guys can see them. I have a few more, like, random things that I need to pick up, like I said. So, this definitely won't be the last of the back-to-school shopping content. So, stay tuned. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And, of course, be sure to check out that container store sale. Love you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you very, very soon. Peace out, Girl Scouts.